Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from lead code weekly contest 191 problem number 1466 reorder routes to make all paths lead to city zero. So you can read the statement but the statement actually states that there are n cities with number from 0 till n minus 1 and they are directional which means there is a connection from A to B and all the connections are given. The main thing you have to remember in this question is it is a network of tree which will help us to know that there is no cycle in it uh, which will help us to understand that if there is a path from 0 till 1 or 0 till 3 there should not be another path from 0 till 3 also there is only one path from 0 till 3 you cannot optimize it so you cannot run uh, like you can you can say that uh, you can also read 0 from 3 to this path and also through this path. There should only be one path available. Okay. And then these are by like these are directional in which 0 is directed towards 1 and 1 is directed towards 3 which is given in the question. Now you want to change the direction of some of the no some of the edges such that every city will be directed towards 0. What it means is because if we start at 0, you can say that if we start at 0 or if we start at any node, there should be a directed path from that node toward 0 and you can easily reach that. There is a directed path from every node toward 0. So you have to switch some of the directions, minimum number of directions such that you can always reach every city from every city to 0. I hope you understand because as you can see in this, uh, there is a edge from 0 till 1 but so you have to flip this such that you can reach from 1 till 0 so this is flipped this is crossed there is also this edge is also not valid so you have to flip it this is valid because you can if these are flipped you can go through this part this is also valid because this is directed from 4 to 0 but this is not valid so you have to flip it so the number of flips is equal to 3 so same for this question so what you can easily do here is I'll take you to a drawing board I have used BFS here you can also use some other method I have not seen the solutions of other submissions but uh, I have used uh, BFS so what I have done here is like this is the first graph which is given in the question uh, this is dieted but to travel to every node we first make it bidirectional we make it bidirectional but then if we make bidirectional we will lose the information of which uh, like which city is directed towards which city so we can make a map in which we will store all the information we have get that there is a directed edge from 0 till 1 there is a directed edge from 1 till 3 and so on so this is stored in the map or you can use a set okay so now I have used a set here so this is set there and I have made this bad directional graph. Now I, have, I am using a cube and just I am pushing everything into cube in a BFS manner. So because everything should direct it towards 0, 0 is our starting point. We first push 0 in the cube. Now we will go towards the children of 0 because 0 is not visited. We are only going to move the, to the children which are not visited. Okay. Because 1 and 4 are not visited, you can make a visited array. Pop out of this cube, 0. Push its children in the cube, which are 1 and 4. And see whether its children are visited or not. Because its children are not visited now. And we can check what is the direction from 0 till 1. Because, because this is the first path, we can easily see to reach to the 0th every children should point towards its parent because let's see if this is a children of 1 if it points towards this node which is its parent and 1 is pointing towards its parent so 0 is the ultimate parent because it is, it's a tree which can you assume to be a rooted tree rooted at 0 so every one should point towards its parent this is not pointing towards its parent it is pointing towards this so you should flip it for this this is pointing towards its parent so this is fine 
okay so for every children of any parent which we are processing in the queue we will check what are its children and whether they are pointing towards its parent if they are not pointing towards its parent then we have to flip them because this is not pointing towards its parent so we have to flip them so we will count the total number of flips and how we can check whether it is not pointing or pointing uh, we can check whether this uh, this path which is 0 till 1 if 0 to 1 path is present in the set which means that there is a path from 0 to 1 and it is present so we have to flip it if there is a path from 1 to 0 is present we don't have to flip it. so that's why set comes handy so we will just do the BFS in which we first push 0 then we will push its children and whether we will check whether there is a path from 0 till 1 yes there is a path present from 0 till 1 so we will flip that this will become first flip then we will push the children of 1 which is 3 then we will take out the next children uh, so we will push the children of 0 and 4 ok now we will push out the first children which is 1 and now we will check all the children for 1 because this is a bidirectional graph the children for 1 will be 0 and 3 both ok so because we have checked already checked 0 and 1 we will not check this again so that's why we will check only for those cases of the children which are not visited because with respect to 1 3 is not visited 0 is visited so we will only check for those edges between the parent and the children all the children which are not visited so because 3 is not visited we will check whether there is a node or there is a path from 1 till 3 yes there is a path from 1 till 3 so we will make this a flip and then we will push 3 and because there are no other children we will come out and then we will take out 4 because there is a path the 4 children are 0 and 5 because this is a bidirectional graph we will check we will only process which are not visited so the uh, not visited children will be 4 will be 5 and we will check whether there is a so during 0 and 4 we will check the children of this this is this and these children so this is also will be checked earlier I have not actually written down here for 4 we will consider whether the children of 4 which is 5 is pointing towards the parent or away from the parent so because it is pointing uh, actually okay this is not this is there so this is pointing away from the parent so this is considered this is 3 and then 5 is pushed in the cube then we will pop out 3 and same we will do for 3 we will pop down push down 2 and for 5 because when we are 5 there is no children so we will and 5 is the children for 5 but because it is visited we will not do anything and same for 2 and then we will come out of this queue and queue will become empty and we will do this until the queue is not empty I will tell you more through the code so you can make the essential list the visited array and a set for the pairs to store whether this this path directed path exists or not so you first mem set the whole visited array to be false because everything is not visited then make the essency matrix or essential list sorry you fill that make it bidirectional and also insert this information that there is an edge from u to v which is this okay now make a queue push that 0 in it total initialized to be 0 then we will do until queue is not empty take out the first value from the queue which is 0 then queue.pop then we will only process this if the element is not visited so if it is not visited we will first make it visited then we will iterate over its children push them in a queue and now what we have to do we will check whether this children is visited or not because what we have told you the children of 4 4 is 0 and 5 and we have processed this edge when we are on 0 because the children of 0 are 1 and 4 so we have processed this edge before we will don't have to process this edge before again after 4 and 0 so we will only process the children of any node which are not visited 
okay so if it is not visited the children because we are dating with the children if the children of this parent is not visited and we are counting that whether there is an edge from k till this k means the parent and this uh, means the children so if they if this is present then we increment the total okay so now what what does this means that there is a edge from parent to children which is not allowed we have to find a edge which is from children to parent if there is a edge then we will increment the account and then we will come out of this while loop till this m it become empty and then we just print out total so this is accepted you can also increase the speed by making the set unordered you can also do that but this is accepted also i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention now in the comment box thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye